Memphis to play basketball at Memphis State. Um, I was living in the athletic dorm, and I actually had a guitar, old, old guitar at this time, and I'm in there just plunking away. And I looked in the door, and this really, really wild, wild figure came in, a little black dude that was dressed uh, just in, it's almost like the room went from monochrome to polychrome, and it was Teeny Hodges, who was uh, wrote Take Me to the River and Love and Happiness and played all, guitar on all, the, all those Al Green hits. And high rhythm part of it, he was one of the brothers that was high rhythm, which to me is, 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 a, is royalty in music. <laughs> and he came and, and sat down with me on there and showed me some chords and just his vibe, it was so weird that something happened, I don't know what it was, but when he left, all of a sudden, uh, things changed. The whole trajectory of my life changed and I started writing songs and uh, I don't know what happened then, to be honest with you, other than the fact that he and I became dear friends and I ended up, about 10 years ago, he just started calling me son and I started calling him Papa. And uh, uh, for those of you that don't know, you know, he passed a couple months ago and I miss him fiercely. I loved him so much. But uh, something happened there that I don't know. And, and I think uh, St. Basil said, what is ineffable should be honored with silence. So I typically do. But I had no musical background growing up other than the fact that <laughs> My grandmother played on Saturday nights in a juke joints and then on Sundays in a Catholic church. <laughs>